This video will discuss the use of the Texas Instruments CSL squared rheometer. The key parts of the instruments are the LED screen, the air bearing, and the sample plate. The first step is to turn on the air compressor, which will allow the air bearing to spin freely. Next, we turn on the water supply to allow proper thermal control of the sample plate. Next, we remove the air bearing clamp and replace it with the cone we wish to use. Now, the instrument is turned on using a switch behind the screen and a system test initiates. The key features of the cone are its diameter, truncation and cone angle. Their values are printed on the side of the box and should be entered into the software to allow correct calculations. Ideally, the plate should be at the level where the untruncated cone's tip would be. To achieve this, we first use the software control to move the ram upwards. The plate is then raised until the geometry stops spinning, telling us that the plate and cone are in contact. We can then use the scale to lower the plate by the relevant number of microns. With the plate correctly positioned, we can lower the ram in preparation for the sample itself. In this example, we'll be using chocolate spread. The ram is raised and the excess fluid removed. We can now use the software to set the flow procedures. Typically, this consists of a first phase in which the torque applied to the cone is gradually increased and a second phase during which it is decreased. We can set both constant and varying temperatures throughout. During the measurement, the LCD screen displays the rate at which the geometry is turning. A live graph of the data is produced by the program. When the procedure is complete, we lower the ramp and remove the geometry. Both this and the plate are then cleaned. We then replace the air bearing clamp, turn off the water supply, and turn off the air compressor. The data analysis software then allows us to view and save the values of stress applied, shear rate, viscosity, time, and temperature. Additionally, a range of rheological models can be fitted to the curves.